Hello everyone, today we're going to be making shaken beef, which is a really simple and delicious way to make steak. What we're going to need is 1.5 pounds of steak. We're using ribeye, we're going to cut it into 1.5 inch cubes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to marinate it. We're going to add about three cloves of garlic. We're just going to put that in. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of oyster sauce. Now this is the brand of oyster sauce that we use. It is the Panda brand of oyster sauce. You can get it at your local Asian market. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add two tablespoons of this oyster sauce to the beef. Okay, so next we're gonna add um, two tablespoons of dark soy sauce. This is the brand we use. Um, this container is not very good for pouring, so we just put it in our nice OXA container for easy pouring. And the reason why you want to use dark soy sauce over regular soy sauce is because the dark soy sauce has a lot more flavor to the meat than normal soy sauce would. and also makes it a lot more colorful, like a darker brown when you fry it, which overall improves the recipe. So just two tablespoons. Dark soy sauce. And then we're gonna add one tablespoon of fish sauce. This is our, the normal fish sauce that we always use in all of our videos. Just one tablespoon. Okay, so, you know, just add just a decent amount of black pepper. Then we're just gonna mix it up and put a glove on. So we're just gonna put this meat aside. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a salad dressing to go in a salad that's gonna go with our beef and make it really um, tasty. So we're gonna add a fourth of a medium yellow onion sliced very thinly into a bowl and then we're going to add half a cup of apple cider vinegar. This is the one that we use. Half a cup. Half a cup of apple cider vinegar going in. Okay, so what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be adding half a teaspoon of diamond kosher salt. If you're using brands like Morton or you're using table salt, you should be um, Make sure to add less salt because it's a lot saltier than diamond kosher salt is. A teaspoon of salt. Next we're gonna be adding a tablespoon of sugar. Tablespoon of sugar. And then a half a tablespoon of regular soy sauce. We have our Kikoman bottle of table of soy sauce, regular soy sauce. Okay, half a teaspoon, and then a little bit more black pepper. We're just gonna, we're just gonna mix this all together until it's well mixed. And we're just gonna let it sit here while the meat, while we cook the meat and stuff so that the onions, they kind of mellow down so they're not as like pungent and strong. Uh, before we fry the meat, what we want to do is we want to prepare the salad. Here I have cut up some romaine lettuce and I have also wedged some beef steaks, tomatoes, and sliced some cucumbers. You know, just whatever you want in your like salad. And then, like, you know, a normal salad. Okay, now we can fry the beef. Okay, so um, I'm gonna be frying it on a cast iron skillet. You don't need to use a cast iron skillet, but I like to because it off it gives you a better sear with um, it has better color and also the cast iron retains heat better, so it fries it better. But you know, just use whatever you want. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so once the pan is hot, as you can see, it's kind of hot, I guess. Um, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of canola oil to the pan. To the pan. Okay, so since the oil is hot now, I'm gonna start adding the beef to the pan. Okay, so we're gonna cook the beef for about five minutes. 
until it's um, medium rare done, I guess. And um, it's important to not move the meat while it's cooking, while it's um, cooking, so that so that you can develop a nice sear on the meat. When one side is nicely brown, you can flip it over and cook the other side. Okay, so we're going to test the temperature of the meat to see if it's medium uh, rare. And the temperature should be about 130, 135. There. We have all of our meat done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to mix our salad. Okay, so we have our salad dressing. The onions are mellowed out. And we're just going to add some uh, onions to our salad dressing, or to our salad. Add a little bit of salad dressing. Just drizzle it on. Okay, whatever. That's good. And then we're gonna put some meat on top. You wanna put the meat on top of the salad because the meat juices, they mix with the salad dressing and they make it taste really, really good. Okay, yeah, also you wanna squeeze lime on top of it. It adds, it adds an extra flavor punch. It makes it really even tastier. Wow, this knife is sharp. Gonna add some lime. This is our little lime thing, too. And just squeeze some lime. And there you have it, shaken beef. Easy, simple, and very, very tasty. Now we're gonna taste test this. The salad dressing is really good. I really like it because it's um, nice and tart. It's got that nice apple cider vinegar taste. And also, I really like onions. Onions are really tasty. 